I started in the movie business at Warner Brothers in, God, I was 21 years old. And I started in the tailor shop because that's what I did in Ireland. I'm from Ireland. And I started in there, Jack Delaney, head of the wardrobe department at Warner Brothers, gave me my first job. So I was there only about four or five weeks. And he suggested that I move to the costume end of the business. So I was working on Camelot. And I worked on that for nine months. And during that time, I learned how to dye fabric, dye shoes, age clothes. I mean, there was so much involved. And I worked with John Truscott, who was this amazing designer from Australia. And then from there, you know, our business is all about who you meet, who you work with. Then they go on to other jobs, they take you with them. And I kind of worked my way along. I mean, I was 21 at the time. And then I worked my way through. I did several features as a costumer. I was a set girl and then I became a supervisor. And then I met Nolan Miller, a lovely, lovely friend of mine who's since gone. And he was friends with Aaron Spelling. So he brought me, he wanted me to come and work for Aaron Spelling. And I was with Aaron Spelling 26 years. It's unheard of in our business because we don't get jobs like that. So I worked full time for 26 years with Aaron. And during that period of time, I was also doing Angela Lansbury, uh, Murder, She Wrote. And then I became a designer because I was, you know, they needed clothes made. And in order to keep everything correct, I became a designer. So it's kind of, I just worked my way up. And I was with Aaron until I retired. Some of my favorite projects, it, it really is more to me, it's about the people you work with. Uh, I do remember like when I started out on Camelot, that was exciting because it was so new to me. I'm, you know, a little girl from Ireland. And uh, it was so new to me because it's nothing that I seeked after. I worked with Faye Dunno. I used to do movies with Faye. I did four movies with her as her costumer, dressing her. And we did Towering Inferno. And there were so many actors on that. So that was fun to meet all these people. The first show I started with Aaron was Charlie's Angels. And uh, I still keep, say hello to Jacqueline Smith once in a while. Uh, Hotel. Hotel was another one of my favorite shows because I loved Connie Selica and she and I became good friends. Um, then the last big project that I worked on and really did a lot of costuming, designing, was Charmed. I did the show Charmed for six years. So there was a lot of great, I, I can't remember half of the pilots that I worked on, there were so many. There were so many, because Aaron Spelling was quite successful. We always said, luck of the Irish. <laughs> but you know, I always felt, yes, I was so fortunate. I, I really was very, very lucky. But I always credit myself for being a good worker. So whatever, whatever I was doing, whether it was starting out in the business, cleaning shoes or designing costumes, you do the best job you can. And that's what I believe. But yes, I was so fortunate in this business. Who gets to work for 26 years in one job? It's unheard of. Because everybody's usually, they work like maybe nine months, then they have to, you're out of work for six months and then you're waiting for your next job. I was very blessed. When I started, which was in the 60s, it was so different, but then I think our world has also changed. It's not just the movie business. When I went to work as a young 21-year-old, the producers, the directors, everybody that was in charge, they were all like more put together. They were very much in suits and they were older men and they'd been around the business and they really were older. There weren't any of those young 30-year-olds back in the 60s that I remember. 
and there was really no women at the time, so I'm happy that part changed. But I also think that in those days, it, it was definitely more about, as far as the wardrobe, everything was made. I mean, right down to the underwear, I understand, some of the movies that big stars did. They, they made their bras, they made their underwear, they made those slips. You didn't go to the store and buy them because it, that was most of it. It was the glamour of shows that they did back then. Now, I think everything is just mostly shopped and worn. It's just different. And I understand they don't have the money that we used to have. And I'm not talking about big features. I'm sure they still have their money. But I'm talking about television, which I was very involved in. And for 28 years with Aaron, Aaron Spelling was all about the look. All his shows had beautiful women in them, as you know, beautiful people. They were all gorgeous, young. And uh, he definitely was about the wardrobe. So if I needed an extra 10,000 to do a show, I got it. Well, they can't, today I understand, just listening to friends of mine that are still working, they said now they give us a little bit of money and dare us to put a show together. So I think that's the difference. It's just not as important. Although I do believe that the wardrobe, it does tell a lot about the characters, but I don't think, and I admire these kids that can do it, put it together. Take, bring the clothes out of your own closet if you want. But I think that's where it's a wee bit different from when I started. My advice is I would start in a costume shop. I, I was in a costume shop for three, almost four years. That's where you get your training. Someone there will teach you how to read the script, how to set up for each character, how to set up your wardrobe, teach you how to tag and organize. The biggest thing is you have to be organized. I would also advise these newcomers, once you get on, if you're lucky and you get on a set, you get on a show, pay attention. Don't go off, because in my time, when I was with Spelling, they have little clicks on the set. And I used to tell my kids, avoid the clicks. Because you're supposed to be right behind the camera and you're supposed to be paying attention. Nowadays I watch TV and it's funny. I sit there still after all these years and I go, well that collar wasn't in when they did a close up, now her collar's in. So that's where you have to pay attention and, um, you know, just enjoy. I loved, loved, loved my job. And so that's the advice that I would give the new ones coming in. And just do your job well and be nice to each other. Help each other.